hello, it's your boy Andy here, and today we're going to talk about my top surgery update too. The second update is actually about uh, right after my last video. After I made that video, something happened, and it's not fun. It was pretty scary. So story time. Every day I will make sure that my wounds are clean and I shower, etc. So the day after, or like a little bit after the, the shoot from the last time, I went to do exactly that. And when I when I opened the binder, I saw that my bandages were stuck to my nipples. Yes, they were stuck. No, I couldn't get them off. I needed help to get them off. And I was so scared, like, I was sweating profusely. I was so... I didn't want my nipples to fall off. Exactly what I said in the last video. Like I do, I don't want I don't want that to happen. So what I did was scream, <laughs> be angry, um, and panic. And that I could, that day, sorry, that day, I um immediately called to the to the doctor's office, and then I found out that they weren't there. Only the assistant. I was afraid that it went infected. And if your wound is infected and it's like uh, something like a nipple, that's not good. So you need help immediately or the right medicine to treat the infection. Just like an antibiotics that will treat infection. And But I can't get antibiotics without a recipe. So... And the assistant is not allowed to give recipes. So I was fucked. And so we talked a little bit to the assistant and they said, um, I'm going to try to contact the doctor and see if he will call you back. And he tried and he failed. And he said, I'm sorry, I can't reach him, but I hope he calls before tomorrow. And the doctor didn't call. The next day, just to make it simple for you guys, he didn't call as well. Like, total radio silence. So, I called back. Because I was like, what am I supposed to do? My bandage was stuck to my nipple. When I pulled it off, there was a stuck... There was like... There was like... It was disgusting. And it smelled a little bit disgusting. So I was really, really, really scared that my nipple would fall off. And I wanted to make sure that it didn't happen. But this motherfucker never called. So I called back. And without luck that day, they never answered. Only the day after, on a Monday, they called back. At 7 o'clock at night, or 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock, I can't remember, but at night. At night, they could have called me all day. But they called me before the stores were closed. So, they called me and they said, it's fine. It's fine, you don't need to do anything. There's nothing going on, it's normal. And I'm like... Couldn't you just have said that, like, three days ago? Like, I was worrying and panicking for nothing. But, um, I guess it's, it's part, part of, part of the healing process. I really don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Right now, I'm, like, a month, month or something. Exactly a month. A month and one day. I can't, I can't count, okay? Hold on, one month flat. We love that. We love a little bit of flatness. Well, a lot of flatness, too. Oh my god, my hair, what is it doing? What the fuck? Yeah, that was the second update. Um, right now, everything is going fine. Um, the bandages are fine. Um... There's still swollenness on the right side, and I'm hoping it's not just that, because then it would mean that I would have to go back to the plastic surgeon to get that fixed. Um, but we'll see. 
at least I'm flat now. Um, even though it kind of looks like a boob on the right side, at least it's a flat boob. <laughs> it's it's flat boob, and with the corona, it's not like I can go outside. So, like I mean, like in the summer, it's not like I can go on the beach because you have to be one year, um, one year uh, after the surgery before you can go to like at the beach or something or swim so and i have to protect it from the sun to get a better uh scar treatment thing in healing i don't know i'm I, <laughs> awkward i am done with this vlog because i am i am done with this vlog i don't want to vlog anymore i'm tired okay um Goodbye.